This video explains how to reorder the levels of a factor using the reorder function in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples. And in the first example, I will show you how to reorder a factor vector. And for this, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. And then in the next step, we can also print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three. And then you can see that our vector object contains the three values C, B, and A. And these values are ordered alphabetically. So the first order is A, then B, and then C. Now we can use the reorder function to reorder this factor vector, as you can see in line five of the code. So in this case, I'm applying the reorder function to our vector object and then I'm specifying the new order of our factor levels. And then I'm storing the output of the reorder function in a new data object that I call VEC reorder. So after running line five of the code, this new data object is created and we can print the content of our new data object to the bottom by running line six. And then you can see that the values in our new vector are the same as in our input vector. However, the ordering of the new vector is different. It's also possible to order the groups in a data frame based on the reorder function. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line eight of the code. So as a first step, we need to create some example data frame, as you can see in lines eight and nine. And then we can also print our data frame to the bottom by running line 10 of the code. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows, a value column, which contains numeric values, and a group column which contains three different groups. Now, if we want to reorder our data frame groups using the reorder function, then we can do that, as you can see in lines 12 to 15 of the code. So in this case, I use the with function in combination with the reorder function. And then I specify that I want to reorder our groups based on their median values. So after running lines 12 to 15 of the code, you can see that a new data object called group reorder is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom to see the new structure. And as you can see, our new levels are ordered according to B, A and C. Now to visualize this change, we can draw a box plot of our data. So in line 18 of the code, I draw a box plot, which is showing the default ordering in our data set based on our input data frame data. So if you run line 18 of the code, you can see that our boxes are ordered according to the groups A, B, and C. So in this box plot, the boxes are ordered alphabetically. However, we could now use our reordered data to order our box plot according to the reordered groups, as you can see in 920. So in this case, I'm plotting the values in our data frame against the reordered vector. So after running line 20 of the code, you can see that our box plot is changed and now the boxes are ordered according to the median values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.